Hi, this is Joe from Teespring's graphic design team. In a previous video tutorial, we introduced you to vector magic, and we showed you how to take JPEGs and PNGs and convert them into an EPS format that you can use for goal of one on Teespring. In that video, we mentioned that files created in vector magic aren't editable in the free version, and that you'd need a software tool like Adobe Illustrator, or in this case, Inkscape, to make some changes like removing a background or adding some text. If you want a free option like Inkscape, let's say you don't have access to Adobe Illustrator, point your browser to inkscape.org to get started. Hover over the download tab and select the operating system that you have running on your computer. Since I have a Windows operating system, I'll choose that. From here, this is just like downloading and installing any software on the web. If you're not sure if you want a 32 or 64-bit version, choose the 32-bit version. That should work for everyone. The 64-bit version may be better optimized for users that are certain that they're running a 64-bit operating system, but if you're not sure, don't sweat it. Just pick the 32-bit version and move on. Once you have Inkscape installed, you can open it up, and when you look at the program for the first time, you might be looking at all these tools and thinking that you're not sure how to proceed. Well, that's okay. You don't need to know how to use every tool in order to make the kinds of changes that we're going to make here today. You only need a few of them. Here's how it works. Let's click File, Open, and find the SVG that we created using Vector Magic. Now, if you remember, we chose an SVG file type when we exported from Vector Magic specifically because we're going to be using Inkscape. Inkscape doesn't really like to play with files created in Vector Magic in EPS format. For some reason, it just doesn't always open it. So to keep it simple and make things nice and easy for you, when you're exporting from Vector Magic with the intention of opening it here in Inkscape, make sure you choose an SVG file type. That'll help you get this thing opened. Once it's opened up, the first tool that's selected is this right here, the Select and Transform Objects tool. This will let us click and select different regions of the image. And you'll notice that if I click the green color, I have a tighter cropped selection box. And if I click the black color, it's more on the edges. And that's because the neat thing about a vector file is that this is broken up by color. And using this direct select tool, I can actually click, drag, and separate all of the black color from all the green color, which makes our job of removing this background as simple as hitting the delete key while this black region is selected. And now that's gone. Now to confirm that there's no other colors flying around here that I don't want, all I can do is just click around the image and see that the only time that anything gets selected is when I click on the green regions of my design. That's because that's the stuff that has data. That's what we want, right? So now that I know that this is pretty much good to go, I want to save it in a format that's going to work for goal of one. Remember, this is currently in SVG format, and we do want to save it as an EPS. So let's hit File, Save As, and then go down here to Save As File Type and select EPS. This is a big list, so if you can't find it by just looking, just hit E on your keyboard, and it'll highlight Encapsulated Postscript or EPS for you. Pick that option, then hit Save, and finally you're presented with your save options. I want to draw your attention to two options here on this screen that you should know about. The first one is convert text to paths. You see that I've already had this selected. This is a good thing to always leave on. Um, for us in this particular image, it's actually not going to make a difference. But if you create your image in Inkscape entirely and you use this text tool right here, when you upload the image to Teespring, you'll get an error that says something about outlining your text. To fix that error, just click this, bo uh, this box right here. And what that'll do is any editable text will just become simple shapes that's easier for our uh, design tool to parse and figure out what should be printed where. The other option that you need to take a look at is rasterize filter effects. Um, you should always have this checked off. Anything that takes a vector element in your design and makes it back into a raster element, that would be like changing something in this design back to its original state when it was a JPEG in Photoshop. So we want to make sure that's unselected so that, that process doesn't happen. Then we'll just hit OK, and now we have this file saved. Now just to demonstrate that this is going to work for our purposes here, head on over to teespring.com, click Get Started. Our design tool loads right up. If you click the Art tab and select Upload Your Own, click here to upload, find the file that we just saved in EPS format, And here it is. And here's the neat thing about, uh, about having this background removed is no matter what color that we put it on, this shirt's going to look awesome. We could put it on any product, and it's going to look awesome. We could even put it on really small products like kids' products and resize it. And because it's a vector, it'll look great at any scale. 
So now that you have vector art set up on teespring.com slash designs, you can finish creating this campaign like any other campaign and you'll be eligible for a goal of one.